Glutathione is often called the body's master antioxidant. It's been found to protect the heart and brain against inflammation and oxidative stress. However, did you know that glutathione is actually regulated by melatonin? Melatonin is called the sleep hormone, but it's also the most powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant hormone inside the body. In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the surprising link between melatonin and glutathione, and there's one additional key player that affects the functioning of both. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. First, let's talk about the effects of glutathione. Being alive causes constant free radical stress and inflammation to our bodies. Even if we're living a relatively healthy lifestyle, there are things that we can't escape from, such as air pollution, exercise, and just breathing. They all create a certain amount of oxidative stress. To overcome that, we have to have our body's antioxidant defense systems working properly. This way, we're able to manage our inflammation status and prevent it from becoming chronic. Having a strong antioxidant defense system is a matter of thriving in life and just surviving. It keeps you more resilient and with a stronger immune system, which ultimately contributes to a long and healthy life as well. Glutathione is produced by the liver, by the sulfur amino acid precursors such as cysteine, glutamine, glycine, as well as methionine and taurine. There are many human randomized controlled trials that have shown that supplementing with glycine and NAC called Glynac lowers inflammation and reverses hallmarks of aging in elderly humans, thanks to raising glutathione levels. I'm not going to go into details with this part because I've made several other videos about this, so you can check it out. You can also boost glutathione with dietary sulfur such as meat, eggs, fish, milk, as well as cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower, as well as allium vegetables such as onions, garlic and artichoke. They've all been shown to raise glutathione levels in humans. But that's not the most interesting part. And I haven't even gotten to melatonin yet, which will definitely blow your mind. Intriguingly, sunlight and vitamin D also correspond with glutathione and sulfur. Vitamin D3 sulfate is the main circulating form of vitamin D in the body. Vitamin D3 gets produced when we're exposed to sunlight, but we also need cholesterol sulfate for it. Most of you probably know what cholesterol is, but cholesterol sulfate is quite different. It's an endogenous steroid that has anticoagulative, antithrombotic, antiatherogenic, and anti-glycation effects. Vitamin D, which you produce when you're exposed to sunlight, triggers cholesterol sulfurylation. This helps to convert the cholesterol in the blood to cholesterol sulfate, which prevents high cholesterol levels. If your cholesterol levels are high and your vitamin D levels are low, then you're probably not getting enough sunlight because sunlight is what converts cholesterol into cholesterol sulfate and ultimately into vitamin d3 sulfate basically there's a bi-directional relationship between getting exposed to sunlight and glutathione production this helps to create cholesterol sulfate as well as vitamin d3 sulfate which are both needed for optimal glutathione synthesis it's been found that vitamin d levels are associated with glutathione levels in a linear fashion the higher the vitamin d and vitamin d deficiency results in low glutathione levels that's because of the connection between vitamin D, sulfur, and glutathione. And supplementing with vitamin D has also been seen to raise glutathione levels. So where does melatonin fit into all of this? Melatonin is the body's sleep hormone, or hormone of darkness, because it gets produced in the absence of bright lights. In addition to sleep, melatonin has also many other important roles, such as regulation of inflammation, immunity, bone development, vascular endothelial function, antioxidant activity, and autophagy. Like we talked about already, melatonin is able to produce and regulate glutathione levels. This is very interesting because both vitamin D and melatonin have very similar hormonal effects and they're almost like counterparts of each other. Vitamin D is the sunlight or daylight hormone and melatonin is the darkness or nighttime hormone. There's even some people who think that melatonin is the next vitamin D in terms of realizing its biological importance in the body. Both vitamin D and melatonin regulate hormones. They have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. They both regulate the immune system and they affect energy production, specifically mitochondrial function. Remember what we talked about vitamin D and sulfur in terms of glutathione levels. But vitamin D, or more specifically sunlight, affects melatonin levels as well. The near-infrared light from sunlight penetrates the skull into the cerebrospinal fluid, where it then promotes melatonin production at night. But is there evidence of vitamin D affecting melatonin levels? Yes, there's both a direct and indirect effect of vitamin D on sleep regulation. Having higher vitamin D levels generally associated with better sleep and longer sleep duration 
whereas with vitamin D deficiency and sunlight deficiency, sleep quality and melatonin levels will suffer. This goes to show the amazing connection between your body's antioxidant defense system and the circadian rhythms. All of these components have an equally important role to play in terms of determining your health and longevity. There's a connection between exposure to sunlight that produces vitamin D and glutathione, but it also supports melatonin production in your sleep, which is one of the most powerful antioxidants. Suppression of melatonin at night is associated with obesity, metabolic syndrome, heart disease, depression and cancer. That's because of various reasons, such as the higher inflammation, as well as the circadian disruption, which is categorized as a carcinogen. But all of this worsens oxidative stress due to the lower glutathione levels as well. So for optimal health and longevity, you want to maintain circadian rhythm alignment for proper antioxidant events and make sure that you produce enough melatonin at night. Here's how to do it. Number one, get exposed to sunlight in the morning and throughout the day. This synchronizes your circadian rhythms, which affects melatonin production at night. However, there's also the direct effect of near-infrared light exposure that promotes vitamin D and melatonin production. Number two, consume adequate amounts of sulfur to make vitamin D3 sulfate and cholesterol sulfate. You get sulfur from meat, milk, eggs, garlic, onions, broccoli, and cauliflower. This supports glutathione production as well. Number three, block out artificial light at night. Blue and green light between 400 to 55 nanometers suppresses melatonin in a dose-specific manner. Blue light exposure at night and circadian mismatches are linked to many types of cancer, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and Alzheimer's. On the flip side, amber and red light exposure in the evening promotes melatonin production, which improves sleep. That's why you should try to mimic a natural sunset in your home before bed. Dim down the lights, reduce the brightness of your screens, use salt lamps or red light light bulbs that have less blue and green light. Number four, using blue blocking glasses is also effective. A 2021 systematic review found that wearing blue blocking glasses before bed help with sleep onset in patients with sleep disorders, jet lag, or shift work. Number five, red light therapy is another way to get exposed to red and infrared light. Remember what we talked about near infrared light penetrating the skull and helping with melatonin production. Well, they found that melatonin production is one of the main components of red light therapy. Studies find that red light therapy helps with sleep quality and performance in athletes. Basically, red light therapy with infrared light helps to mimic some aspects of sunlight that helps with melatonin and sleep quality. However, there's a lot of other benefits of red light therapy such as skin anti-aging and recovery. I'm not going to go into the details here, but you can check out my other video about this. All of this, the red light devices, red light light bulbs, and blue blocking glasses, you can get from Bond Charge. They use the exact wavelengths of light shown in research in their red light and infrared light devices and filter out the exact wavelengths of light that block melatonin production with their glasses. The Bond Charge infrared sauna blanket is also amazing for getting cardiovascular benefits without needing a real sauna. It warms up in minutes and it's also low EMF, so you're not frying yourself with the radiation at all. All of my followers get an exclusive 15% discount with the code SEAM at bondcharge.com forward slash SEAMLUND. In conclusion, your body's antioxidant defense is incredibly important for longevity. Yes, glutathione is considered the master antioxidant, but after watching this video, I believe that you have realized that glutathione is just like a pawn compared to vitamin D and melatonin. Melatonin and vitamin D, these are the actual master antioxidants, and they regulate glutathione levels as well. These circadian hormones are what really run the show. That's why circadian rhythm alignment is so underrated in my opinion. Unfortunately, in the modern world, there are a lot of things that disrupt these processes. We're spending significantly less time outside. Most people are vitamin D deficient, but they're also melatonin deficient because of the artificial light blocking their melatonin production. As a result, you end up with a weak antioxidant defense and a weak immune system. However, it only takes a few lifestyle adjustments to fix that. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.